We got a new <laughs> printer last year, but before that I had an old school printer and I tried to print out some like um, loving pictures for Steve. <laughs> Oh, nice. It looked ridiculous. They were grainy and lines through them. I'm like, a happy Valentine's Day? He like, throwback <laughs> to 1990. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Another way to celebrate Mother's Day from a thousand miles away is recruit a local. If you know someone that's near your mom, like my mom lives with my aunt, so I could totally recruit her. Nice. Or if you have a sibling that lives there, you can go and have these with them. True. Like, send them, like, 20, 30 bucks and be like, here, let's split, like, a bouquet of flowers and a card. Sure, and yeah. We'll do some FaceTime action. As long as they are are trustworthy. Right. <laughs> if they're not trustworthy, then... 1-800-Flowers. 1-800-Flowers. <laughs> I was just going to say that, too. Yes. Um, Amazon Prime is an is a godsend. You can get things delivered the next day or within a couple days. So you still have time if you're Amazon Priming it. Nice. Don't yeah. you have to pay, though, for that? Yeah. Or they do. They have been doing, like, a 30-day trial. Sure. And I did. I it used to I be, admit, like, 14 days, and now it's 30. So, like, I you say, get, yeah. like concretes or uh, solidifies you forgetting about it yes okay okay yeah what i did i did this around the christmas time i joined amazon prime for like 30 days did the christmas stuff and then canceled oh okay i'm not condoning that that that, that might get me in trouble but that's what i did but it's only 99 dollars. well a they year. still have your credit card Free information shipping. yes so i mean and i buy if a lot someone's of stuff. listening to it and you're gonna get in trouble for that then they'll just debit you the one month charge right 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 whatever <laughs> i still go on my account i order a lot pink barb 27 i order still order a lot i just don't do like overnight shipping Oh, that's funny. Yeah. So do you have to have Amazon? I'm sorry. Go ahead and get no, back. No, no. What was your question? I was going to say, so do you, does, do you have to have Amazon Prime to do the overnight shipping? Typically, or you're going to pay a lot of money. It's oh, like really? free overnight shipping. Oh. Shipping. It's shipping. a membership. Yes. To get free shipping. And you can get like free movies, download to watch like Netflix type. So it is kind of, I think it's worth it, but mm-hmm. we already have Netflix. Gotcha. And we have Roku, and we have lots of other stuff, and I do buy a lot on Amazon. I just choose the cheaper shipping me- method. Gotcha. Yes. And then don't forget to freaking call your mom on Mother's Day. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've I've almost forgotten a couple times. Like, it'll be like 5 p.m. be like, crap, Whoops. I sent the gift, I sent the flowers, and mm-hmm. then... But she's gotten wise to that, and so she'll start calling me at like 7 a.m. on Mother's Day. Oh, oh Really? Hi, Mom. Happy Mother's Day. Right. I'm sleeping in today because I don't have to work. <laughs> well, how 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 many hours? Just She's one, an hour. Just one hour. Me. But okay. she doesn't, you know, think about that. Doesn't think, yeah. yeah. I probably wouldn't either. Yeah. 10 p.m. Hello, honey. <laughs> so, like I said, I'm all about the scents, about the scents. Like, there's one, two, three candles going down here alone. Yeah. I They're all tropical. Smell them. Yeah. Hopefully you're not. I smell like I'm in Hawaii right now. Yay! That's what I'm going for. Mm. Because have you seen? Mm. Yeah, that didn't give it away at all. (laughs) We have a pineapple lamp. (laughs) Um, And I found an article about the five cents for spring. Awesome. Yes. So the first thing is peppermint, which I love peppermint. I actually just planted a peppermint plant in my pot out on my back porch. Because I love peppermint. Mm -hmm. And I find it to be very refreshing. Sure. But did you know... It's detoxifying. Really? Ooh. That's nice. It gets the circulation going. Peppermint is also perfect for bringing life to slug- sluggish skin. So I'll share the link to this article because it has different oils you can buy uh-huh. to use. Um, but they are recommending Pretty NYC Sugar Scrub. It's fresh with lots of bright peppermint to help invigorate the exfoliating properties. Nice. I like peppermint too. I like the smell of yes. peppermint. You don't like the taste? Um, Like peppermint gum? Yeah, I can do that. Peppermint, the little red and white mints? Yeah, I usually, I go for spearmint over peppermint. I do too. It's sweeter when I probably. go to taste. Probably. That's probably But I like the peppermint for. smell because it's stronger. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like peppermint in um, mojitos. Mm-hmm. Those are good. Yes. Mojitos are always good. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Ding. All right, you talk about the next scent. Okay, cheer up, bergamot. Is that how you... Bergamo? 
I, I don't know. Bergemot. <laughs> Bergemot. Bergemot. <laughs> Bergemot. I don't know. It's just bergamot. Okay. This essential oil is expressed from the peel of the bergamot, a citrus that grows in Italy and is packed with energizing and astringent properties, making it a beautiful cleansing oil for spring. The aroma is one of the most emotionally balancing and is a strong antidepressant. Have you ever thought about scents being that influential in our lives? Well, I, I, um, I like uh, some of the calming stuff. Like lavender? Uh, there's a uh, crud. I can't think eucalyptus? of it. Eucalyptus? Eucalyptus and peppermint. Yes. Those two together, it's just very calming and kind of helps me um, unwind Chillax. at night. Yeah. Do you do like the Lush bath bombs? Um, I haven't done those in a long time, but I used to growing up. My mom was always kind of into like the aromatherapies and whatnot. So she and you're can, not as much? Well, I just, it just kind of goes back to the whole, do I really need this? I don't think I need this, you know? Gotcha. So gotcha. I'm, I'm kind of a penny pincher. That's good. That's a good mom. Yeah. Sure. Good mom quality. Saving sure. for the college. Yeah. That's, that's, we'll go with that. <laughs> The next one is for rebalance. It's rose geranium. Hmm. This is a great oil for balance, hormonally and emotionally. It improves vibrancy in the skin and is a great addition to any cleansing routine. It's a great oil for the evening and particularly nice for soothing and balancing the scalp. Nice. Yeah. I like rose. I do too. I, I, I have always know. wanted a rose bush, but I hear they're high maintenance. We had one, but it died. Yeah. We were at Home Depot this weekend, and I saw rose bushes, and I thought about it, and then I said no. Yeah. Things yeah, die. Right? Because you kind of have to care for it. You do. Just just a little bit. <laughs> just a little bit. Speaking of another rose. Yes. Calm your mind with rosewood. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the change of season always makes me tired. The time change, the new rhythm, the weather changes. It can be stressful for both my body, my mind, and skin. Rosewood oil is very calming and deeply sedating. It helps us breathe a little better, clear our mind, and get focused. Again, I don't know if scents are that much of a... a, a I know if they're terrible. Oh, yeah. If like you, it... Totally the dog gives parts me in my headache. face. Well, I'm like, boo! I want to go to bed. Are some of the scents like the scented candles? I feel like they're too strong or too potent, and it'll give. What me don't you like? I don't know. Anything I'm burning right now? No, these are fine. But usually, like the more muskier scents, Gardenia. or I don't know. That one's like super floral. I can't handle. So yeah, the super floral ones that just, maybe it's just a mix. Mm -hmm. Like you're supposed to be in a rose, uh, um, I don't know, a garden with all these flowers around. And yes. it's all condensed to one candle. <laughs> I can't handle those ones. And you're in like a four by four room. Yeah. I open it and just get knocked off my feet. My um, co-workers, we got, we got an email this last week letting us know that we needed to be more mindful of our scents. Uh -huh. I don't burn candles at work. Because it's a cubicle environment, you sure. can't do that. Well, like lotions, yeah, perfumes. Yeah, lotions, perfumes, yeah. makeup. Because I, I guess someone on our team is very sensitive. And so I have to, like, I'm just down to deodorant. <laughs> and hopefully it doesn't affect anyone. And makeup. Some And makeup. They said that in the email, it said some people are very sensitive to the smells of makeup. I'm like, here, smell my cover girl. Is it, is it too much? To but I, smells yeah. of makeup? Yeah. Hmm. I know I do have a co-worker who's allergic to a lot of um, things, so mm -hmm. we'll keep around, like, baby lotions or something around. And then they've also ordered some non-scented lotions, but not. I don't think she's as bad as... I've been carrying around those EOS lotion yeah, packs, yeah, yeah. and they don't seem that strong. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting for someone to be like, cut it out with that strong stuff. <laughs> right. But, like, the Bath & Body Works... Which I love oh, right. their scents. I stopped. Some of those, I, yeah. I, I totally, I know exactly. Butterfly flower mean. used to be my favorite and it was super strong. Yeah. Super strong. Well, you just wanted to smell like a butterfly flower. I did. Where are butterfly flowers at these days? 
They're um in the garden. Yep, yep. <laughs> they're they're compacted in that candle <laughs> yes. with all the other flowers. You just have to you have to release it with flame. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> and then the last scent is to energize you. It's pink grapefruit, which I'm actually hmm. drinking grapefruit vodka with orange water. Nice. Orange flavored water. So, yeah. Wasn't into the wine tonight. Because I wanted to be energized. Expressed from the peel of a pink grapefruit, this is a super fresh and uplifting essential oil. It's very astringent, so it's great for cutting through excess oil and grease and also soothing for inflammation. It's a cheery, bright aroma, also uplifts moods and improves sluggish, sluggish circulation. And I actually use like a citrus face wash mm-hmm. and a citrus... Um, scrub? Sugar scrub? No, it's a it's it's a, like a... I don't even know the word. It, I put it on my skin after Moisturizer. I wash it. Moisturizer? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and it, I feel like it does do some, like, rejuvenation. Sure, sure. Energy. Nice. Are you a sunless tanner person? I don't, no. I don't usually. Because I'm all about it. I used to be a tanning bed person until I got my first spot removed three years ago, and I was like, never, ever, ever again. Really? Because, yeah, I I, think I was a tanaholic. Really? Yeah, I, I used to. Not, I guess I can count on my hand how many times I've been. One hand, I should say. There were day, there were, there was a time in my life, I was 20 years old, I would, I had multiple tanning memberships, so I'd go to one tanning bed in the morning and another tanning bed in the afternoon. Oh, wow. Yeah, so my skin, I'm just waiting for the day that it all comes up to the surface and I have to wear a bag over my face. Oh. Because, ick. But ever since <laughs> three Are you years ago, about freckles, no, like or moles? like one of my tanning beds. This is kind of crazy that I used to go to. The lady that ran it had half of her nose taken off from skin cancer, and one time I came out a little too red, and she's like, "You need to watch that, or you're gonna have a nose like mine." I think I had nightmares after that. I'm like, what? this is not going to grow your business. So she's yelling at you, but she's still condoning it. Yeah, taking wow. my money. Okay, yeah. Right, so lady. it's stuff like that. It scares the crap out of me. Shame on you. I'll see you next week. Yes. <laughs> Where's guy sunscreen next time? <laughs> mm. So this time, about this time every year, I-, I swear, if you go back to Two Girls and a Bottle of Wine podcast, I talk about sunless tanners because I do want to promote it. There are a lot of girls like me that want to be a little tanner. Sure. This time of year because I'm super white. Understood. And so I found right. an article. You're, but you have that it just, nice glow. It, you know, I just, I do have the glow, but it's because the sun touches it just a little <laughs> bit, and that's what it turns to. So I just. Do you wear sunscreen on a regular basis? When I know I'm going to be out all day, mm-hmm. but if I'm out for a little bit, it just kind of turns brown. So I make sure and buy the makeup that has a little bit of SPF, sure. SPF in it because sure. I'm scared of my nose. Yeah. I don't blame you. I used to get really bad burns on my nose. Oh, I was bad when I was a kid. Horrible. So these are some sunless tanners that we're going to go over that are supposed to be the top five sunless tanners. Awesome. So the first one is Tan Physics True Color Sunless Tanner. The pros for this one, say goodbye to the sun and hello to the perfect sunless tan. This innovation in skincare saves you time and money by combining the highest quality tanners and anti-aging skin moisturizers found only in the most exclusive products. The result is a tan so natural and skin so rejuvenated that you'll never use another tanner again. The product offers a tan that looks like you got it at the beach. It is easy to use, smells great, which is huge for a sunless tanner, and I lost my space. Gives great results every time. There you go. (laughs) Now, the cons is it's only available online and recently has become so popular that it's often out of stock. The demand is exploding, so when you see it available, we recommend buying a few bottles at a time. I went to their website for Tan Physics True Color Sunless Tanner, and you can buy like five bottles at a time, which is like $100. Really? So they're like 20 bucks a pop? Yeah. Hmm. Kind of pricey. Did those work really well, though? Because I would imagine, is it one shade for every person? Most of them, and this is what I've discovered, is you do like one layer, and it's kind of a subtle. You do another layer, it gets a little darker. So that's kind of how that goes. And then as your skin naturally exfoliates, it gets lighter. It's kind of like a typical suntan when it goes to... So does it, like, dye your hands? You, I recommend using, like, gloves. Hmm. 
A lot of the the um, sunless tanners come with gloves. Okay. Or scrub your hands. Typically, when I do sunless tanning, I have the white glove effect where you can see where I washed my hands. Gotcha. And I have. 